Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about brains of the robot arm, or more especially about Arduino program which drives this robot arm, and also a little bit about inverse kinematics and kinematic diagram. Why I'm doing this video? First of all, because a lot of you asked me to do this, and second, because this is the last topic which is left uh, to cover for the robotic arm build. After this topic, everyone can go to the GitHub page or take all my files, take the software, upload it, print it, assemble it and make exactly the same robot arm. Before we will start, as usual, if you're new to my channel, please consider to subscribe to my channel and also please consider to support me on my Patreon page. This will help me to develop more projects like this one. Let's get started. Here I have the kinematic diagram of uh, this robot. Uh, I already showed this kinematic diagram some videos ago, but I think it's a good idea to remind it over here. Here I have the base. This is the first joint, the second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth joint. So this one rotates like this. The second joint rotates like this, the third like this, fourth like this, fifth like this and sixth like this. And also I uh, indicated here like D1, R1, R2, R3, D4, D6. This is the dimensions uh, of this robot and all these dimensions is shown over here. I also indicate uh, the coordinate system in which I'm working and uh, the main coordinate system is this one. So it has Z axis up, X axis like this and Y axis is going inside the whiteboard. I also indicated other coordinate system which relates to each joints, but this is less important. This is really important for someone who is uh, want to understand what is Denavit Hartenberg matrix is and uh, how I use it. But I think for most of you, you don't really need to go to the details uh, here. All you need is uh, to know this uh, diagram and also to know this uh, coordinate system. So I have a self-made coordinate system, like this one is the axis X, this is axis Y and this is axis Z. So I can align it with uh, this coordinate system. So X should be forward, Y goes to the left and Z goes to the up. And uh, uh, let's imagine that this coordinate system is fixed at the end of our gripper of the robotic arm. And so what this uh, robotic arm can do? First of all, it can move this coordinate system in the 3D space. And also it can rotate this coordinate system. To give the position and ori orientation of this uh, uh, coordinate system or position and ori orientation of the gripper, in the program I used uh, six numbers and first, the first three numbers is just coordinates x0, y0 and z0 in this coordinate system. So the first three numbers is going just to give you the position of the gripper or end effector. And z, y, z earlier angles is going to give you the orientation of this uh, coordinate system. And now, so what does it mean Z, Y, Z earlier system? This means that in order to go to the desired position, first of all, we need to rotate our the coordinate system around Z axis, afterwards around Y axis, and afterwards around Z axis again. And like this, we can move, we can rotate this, this gripper in any direction. Like for example, if we will say that we want to uh, go to the position uh, with uh, this Euler angle, like first Euler angle is 90 degrees. It means that it should be rotated 90 degrees around axis Z, like this. And afterwards, for example, the second angle is equal to the 180. It means that this uh, coordinate system should be rotated around Y axis 180 degrees. like this one and for example the last z axis is uh, minus 90 degrees it means that 90 degrees is this one minus 90 is this one so this is gonna be 
and a factor position for the z y z Euler angle 90, 180, minus 90. Now, when we know how to set the position and orientation of the end effector with these values, and now when we know what is z y z Euler angle, let's look at the Arduino program. So, this is Arduino program and uh, you can notice that this is version 2. And why it's version 2? Because I made some significant changes recently and uh, I already uploaded this uh, program to the GitHub page. So, first of all, this part it uh, defines the, uh, all the motors, all the drivers and how they connected to the Arduino Mega uh, board. Uh, if you go, going to do the, exactly the same electronics as I did on my previous videos, in this case you don't need to change these values. Also, this is the enable pins. And these three last pins, it corresponds to the pins uh, on the ramps board. And uh, uh, afterwards, what you also need to know is this uh, six uh, constant. And in this six constant, I have the uh, micro stepping over here. So now it's set to the 32 micro stepping for each uh, axis. If you're going to have another micro stepping, you have to change this uh, here. And afterwards, uh, what is important is uh, this uh, main, main part loop. So in this main part loop, first of all, I enable all joints with these commands and afterwards I go to the um, home position. For this I need to move uh, first of all joint 2. I am doing it here. Afterwards I need to move joint 3 over here and joint 5. Now robot should be in the home position. So. Um, and afterwards, there is this main part, which called go, go, go. And uh, this is, I think, the only part which you need to take care of uh, to move the robot in the different positions. So here I set uh, the set of different uh, positions with uh, x home, x1, x11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 15 x2, x3, x4. So, this is basically different uh, position in the space and robot arm is going to move from uh, one of these position to another uh, position. And each time I have six values in this position. So, first three values is x, y and z coordinates and three other values is z, y, z earlier angles. And uh, afterwards, what I do is that for each of these uh, position, I calculate the joint uh, angles over here using the inverse K subroutine. So here I defined the jo joint values. And afterwards, I calculate these joint values with this uh, inverse K uh, subroutine. And when I have all these joint values, I can move uh, our robot arm to the desired position. Like for example here, this command, go straight line, it moves a uh, robot from the position home to the position 1 with the speed, uh, with the this speed, this acceleration, with the zero initial speed and zero final speed. So zero initial speed because the robot was uh, in the rest at the beginning and zero final speed is because I just want it move and stop. Afterwards it moves through the, the position from J1, J11, etc, etc till J17 and comes back to the J1. It's basically here what it's do, it's making uh, this kind of circle. And here it's doing it with a certain speed it means that uh, it does not stop at each point. It's just reduce its uh, velocity to the half at each point, but never stops. 
till the end. And uh, this is just uh, robot arm goes from the position 1 to the position 18, which is just 5 centimeters in front of uh, J1. It reduces the speed only to the 0 08 of the maximum speed. And afterwards, it goes to the uh, 5 more centimeters to the J14. And after J14, the robot arm comes back. So it's basically this moves is just to see the robot arm does not stop in this J18. So it goes really goes to the J18. It slows down a little bit and it's continued to the J14. And uh, here in this command, it goes from the J1 to the J2, which is uh, 10 centimeters in front of it. In, in front of it, it also rotates. You will see goes back, goes left, goes uh, back, goes right, goes back, and afterwards it goes to the home position. And the last part uh, of this uh, subroutine is just basically going, uh, just folding the robot. So it uh, moves uh, joint 5, moves joint 3, and moves joint 2. And this is basically it. So all you need to take care of is this part. Go, go, go. So, uh, again, you need to define uh, all uh, the points through which the robotic arm is going to move. You're going to define these points in the, with the six values, three values of the position and three values of the earlier angles. And when you define all these uh, values, you should, uh, for these values, you should define the joint uh, angles. Calculate these joint angles using inverse kinematic subroutine. And when you have all these uh, joint values, you can move a robot arm with a go straight line uh, subroutine. And also you can look at the go straight for straight line subroutine. And uh, this uh, go straight line subroutine, what it's basically do, it moves um, robot arm from the joint position, uh, this one, from the first one, to the this joint position, to the second one, with the maximum speed well zero with acceleration ACC0 and with this initial speed and at the end it's gonna have this final speed. And this is basically it what you need to know in order to use this uh, program. Of course you can look uh, what there is afterwards like for example there is other subroutines like this subroutine it uh, basically moves uh, motors This subroutine, which calculates inverse kinematics, it means that uh, when you give to this subroutine the position and the orientation of the end effector, this subroutine uh, gives you back the joint angle for each joint. Also, there is forward kinematic subroutines. This do the opposite. It takes the joint angle and it gives you back the position and orientation of the end effector. So now let's see how it moves. So first of all, uh, what is going to happen is uh, the all the axis is going to be enabled. Now they are enabled, so I can take out this piece. So this is the first uh, uh, axis two, axis three. These two movements, uh, these three movements is needed to go to the home position. So this is the last of these three movements. And now the robot in the home position. So the first, uh, this is X home. This is X1. This is, it goes 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, 1. This is 18, 14. You see that, this, that does not stop. It goes back to the J1 to the position 1. This is goes to the position 2. It's 10 centimeters uh, in front of it, but it's also different orientations. That's why it rotates. Now it goes to the position uh, number 3, to the left. It comes back to the position 1. And it goes to the position number 4. 
it comes back to the position number one. And it goes back to the position X home. And now when everything is done, it folds itself. So it moves uh, axis number five, axis number three, and axis number two. Done. Basically, to move the robot, you need to know these three commands. So, first one is not really a command, it's just definition of the position, uh, one of the position where robot uh, should be. First of all, from this position, we need to find out the joint angles. And to do this, we use the subroutine inverse K, which means inverse kinematics. So, the first... Uh, uh, variable here is the position and the second one is the output variable. This is going to be the joint uh, angles. And when you have all the joint angles for each uh, the position of the robot, you can use the command which is go straight line. And uh, in this command uh, there is a couple of variables. The first one is the initial uh, position. The second is the final position. So this uh, command is going to move the robot from the position x1, which corresponds to the joint 1, to the position x2, which corresponds to the joint 2. And it's going uh, to move uh, the robot with the uh, velocity, which is uh, shown here. This is the maximum velocity. With the acceleration, which you should set here. And uh, these two values is initial and final uh, speed uh, of uh, fi uh, initial, uh, initial and final velocity of the robot arm. So initial velocity is the velocity which should be here and final which should be here. In most of my cases, I use zero and zero here. It means that the robot arm starts here, it accelerates, move uh, with constant speed and accelerates and stop here. But for example, if you have three points like this one and uh, you can either stop in each point like this it's gonna move here stop and here in this case it should be zero and zero but what you can do for example for these moments you can uh, get here some final velocity non-constant final velocity here the initial velocity is gonna be like this final velocity and in this case, what it's how it's going to move, it's going to move to this point. Not stop here, but just accelerate till the final velocity. So move, not stop, and continue, and stop here. So, with these values, you can either choose move, stop, move, stop, or move, slow down, accelerate, so, like this, or like this. And uh, with these values, also what is possible is to possible, for example, if you want to move a uh, robot, um, robot arm on the arc, like this, you can uh, approximate this arc with the straight parts. And... Uh, If you will put uh, uh, zero initial and final velocity on each of these uh, straight lines, in this case, the movements is going to be like super weird. It's all going to be like tin, 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 tin. Not interesting. But if you will adjust uh, the initial and final velocity each time, in this case, the movements is going to be like more smoother. Bam. So, in order to easily use this Arduino code, what we need, we need to master these uh, three commands. Okay, it's basically two commands. This one not really a command, it's just definition. So, it's just two commands. This one is super easy. This one is a little bit more complicated, but still not really complicated. And this is it. 
Now I have two robots and I can move them more or less at the same time. So let's try. Everything is ready. Go. Nice. So they move in axis number three to go to the home position. Now axis number five to go to the home position. And now the main movements. Not very synchronous. <laughs> nice. This is cool. This is great. Yeah. Oof. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Today we finished basically all the built videos for this robotic arm. So now you can build your own 3D printed robotic arm uh, like this one. And also you can build your own electronics. You can put all these together and now you have also Arduino code. And today we also learned how to use this Arduino code in order to program some special moves of this robotic arm. In the next video I will try to make some uh, interesting things with this robotic arm. So in order not to miss this video, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you're not uh, subscribed yet. And also I would like to say Huge thank you to my Patreons. Here are their names. Without my Patreons, it would be difficult uh, to motivate myself to do this project. And uh, yeah, so become my Patreon. See you next time.